Weinstein isn't backing down after being fired from his film company. TMZ reporting the Hollywood producers planning to challenge his own housing, arguing that he never violated his contract. This contract allowed him to keep his job even if sexual harassment suits came into play. Just unbelievable. Yeah, Abby. here to explain attorney at Fox News anchor Greg Jarrett. No one better to help break all of this down. What standing does uh, Weinstein have at this point? He can now, he's saying he's going to sue his, his own company. Sure. Where does that go? He has zero chance. He's not only a sexual predator who terrorized women, but he's also a mm -hmm. fool if he thinks that he can contest being fired. His contract was an illegal contract because it enabled him in writing to sexually harass women, pay a fine essentially to himself, continue in the job, and continue to terrorize and harass and sexually abuse women. That is, under law, an illegal contract. It's null and void, which makes him an at-will employee who can be fired for a reason or no reason at all, and they have plenty of reasons to yeah, can and the guy. you don't have three women that are claiming that, that he raped them. I mean, it yes. just gets, the details coming out, David, are getting worse and worse for this They're guy. They're not only getting worse and worse. There's evidence in this. We've got the 2015 uh, undercover recording by NYPD with Amber, Gutier Amber Gutierrez. What about statute of limitations on this? We were talking about the contract, right. but the charges that can be brought. There's no statute of limitations anywhere for rape, um, which is, I don't want to get too graphic, but it is penetration. First degree sexual assault in most jurisdictions, no statute of limitations there. So he is in legal jeopardy criminally. London police as well as New York and probably L.A. police are investigating. And that tape in New York is incriminating, damning evidence. Cyrus Vance, the D.A., had it. He chose to drop the case. And interestingly, the lawyers for Weinstein lavished generously a lot of money on Cyrus Vance's campaign after he dropped the case against Weinstein. Could he end up behind bars? Oh, absolutely. Should end up behind bars if the claims by the accusers are correct. 32 women have come forward to claim harassment, sexual assault, and three of them, as you point out, rape. Um, this, this is a guy who deserves to be behind bars. If he thinks he can retain his position at Weinstein Company, right. uh, he cannot. Oh, it's just horrible. The other thing, I, I wrote a column that said the Weinstein Company should shut its doors and do three things. Apologize sincerely. Two, set up a fund for the many victims, and the list will continue to grow. And finally, contribute tens of millions of dollars to organizations that are dedicated to helping abused women. And then it should close down operations. Greg, that's some great advice. Good to have you with us this mm -hmm. morning.